Hello my friends and welcome to monthlies. This is going from July 23rd to August 22nd. And just quick note, thank you everybody for helping, sharing, subscribing, liking. I appreciate a lot. 10,000 is a really, really cool thing to be at just in less than five months. So quick announcement. We only have one special this month, which is your expert. So if you want it, check it on my website. Love you. Hi Geminis and welcome to your August reading and my apology for this month being uh, behind but these are like really epic reading readings this month I'm basically testing something else so instead of like building it up instead of starting from the elementary school I'm starting from the top down I'm first giving you the university lesson and then we are going to go down in the particulars of every situation so we are starting with oracle you're starting to kind of like learning how to fish and kind of like seeing how far you can actually lift yourself up up this month not just being an afterthought oh you know he has been with somebody else or not so this is for these people who really strive for something else uh, in their life I mean, you can skip, I think it's about 15 minutes and go right into tarot reading if you really want to go down to it. But this is probably the most important kind of part of it. Then we are going to go to tarot, which is kind of like more like a spiritual guidance. So this is kind of vision. Then we are going to spiritual guidance. Then we are going to go to Lenormand, which is kind of general, right? And also both general, which kind of includes love, life. And then we'll go to Gypsy, which is kind of fun because it gives us emotions and intrigues and all this kind of court affairs. Now, tomorrow is a full moon and tomorrow is a lunar eclipse. Now, what is really interesting about this guy at uh, this time, guys, is that we are dealing here as well with the president of the United States, who is also sharing your sign, whether you consider this good or bad. I... Uh, have my opinion I'm going to keep it for myself but I was thinking to kind of throw in um, and just like try and see the review of that as well so it is kind of like very uh, big interest to me because you know you guys are our neighbors and I want to see what is going to happen over there because as I don't know if you guys heard like I mean looks like the solar eclipse is going to have quite a bit effect on on the, the US and this is kind of precursor to it lunar uh, eclipse um, in basically Aquarius is really good news for everybody um, especially for the air signs where we are all kind of coming up being more compassionate and being becoming really better beings so let's jump in right away guys into your own thing so here we have like the cluster of the cards that kind of jumped out so i decided to kind of keep them all because of that reason right so this is kind of interesting because look at the colors green green pink brown yellow it looks like there's going to be lots of activity in your heart chakra this month guys and it starts with grounding yourself when basically you see this card lake and quite a few signs actually have this oracle card jumping out so what do we see we see some something really serene and i did say in the other readings guys if you didn't see that movie the notebook i mean it's a really nice romantic story it's of, of course sugary like uh, anything else that is kind of written like with that outer like what is his name I'm trying to remember nicholas something sparks i believe uh, but the scene with the lake and the swans is absolutely unforgettable. So guess which sign likes their electronics as much as Aquarius or even more so it would be you guys because not only do you like your gadgets but you also like to chat and you don't mind chatting you like day and night. So check this out. This is actually asking you to slow down. So it's telling you guys, it is time to reset your hard drive. It is time to go in a possible kind of full retreat, go on the lake, leave your gadget in the car or wherever you parked it, leave it at home, 
you will survive I'll guarantee you so this is asking you to heal hurry up syndrome and kind of like um, really get it because as we actually use this little kind of devices we get programmed I don't know how many of you uh, actually studied psychology but there was this experience with dogs done by a Russian psychologist Pavlov I think Anton Pavlov so what they were doing they were feeding these dogs and at the same time with feeding they would ring a bell and eventually long story short uh, each time of course when you're hungry you salinate because you kind of like experience this kind of precursor to hunger so what happened with these dogs in times you would just need to ring the bell and the dog would salinate without the food being offered so this is pretty much how we are trained with that bell each time we actually go to our devices we are nothing better than those pile of dogs if you really want to look at it really candidly so this is your opportunity Gemini to say you know what I'm breaking this habit I am not going to react to this bell or ding or just because the message came through well I have to check it because the world is going to stop these interferences are actually creating this ADHD these interferences are not allowing us to enjoy our life fully and you guys are a little bit more susceptible to that than the other signs because you really want to be on top of the things your air sign meaning that you are very fast that you really like communicating but you have to at this stage think about yourself so I would say disconnect not only from your technology but also from I mean, I'm not giving you permanently of course you have to stay in touch but take a day or two or, or time every day maybe when you get home after supper you are not looking or using the phone for let's say three hours this is your time so you know or find a place in the nature which will be even better because it's going to be really important especially looking at everything else because I kind of like thought how to approach this reading given the cards that jump kind of jumped out you have to find that stillness inside of yourself and this is much better if if you don't have people around you continuously keeping you busy and if it's kind of hard I would advise it is really good for you to kind of like step out and kind of almost build in that time for yourself to kind of de decide that this is my time just like people plan gym visits or whatever nails create yourself like one hour like if you can do it every day I mean come on this is not asking much then do it like at least once a week and this is a dedication to you and to your own mental sanity now <laughs> this is the very first time ever since I got this Oracle deck that I got full moon and you guys are the only sign so far that got it and it says full moon completion right so what is happening uh, tomorrow August the 7th is a full moon and it's going to be long, uh, like lunar eclipse so you're not going to see this well you might at times but at the times this is going to completely kind of dark right so what is basically happening with the moon it is basically rotating the moon is rotating around the planet right so if you know every 29 I think and a half days you know uh, it's kind of like full and it shines bright in the sky and it is sometimes especially in the country so strong in in the cities we have like basically light pollution but in the country it almost can be a beacon that you can actually see even physical features on earth right so it is like something that is kind of building up over the two weeks and then the other two weeks is kind of like going down and this is also affecting the water on this planet so of course it's affecting our emotions of course full moon has this reputation for dogs walls accidents whole bunch of things right so this is basically telling us that we reached the full basically uh, height of what we were accomplishing so it's also time for you guys now to take pleasure in knowing that whatever you have been working toward has reached its culmination so you have to review what you did like whether you did right it's going to be great if you didn't it will be really good to go into the stillness and kind of like review and strategize what can you do so 
also if you did really well then I would like you to really go in the stillness and enjoy this kind of hold this feeling this is kind of really important to kind of build this like self-respect and even if it's a small thing even if it is you know you didn't you know eat something bad a certain day or you know you you smoked less that's all really really great so when you do that just like take this deep breath and feel how your body is also becoming full and how your lungs are kind of like feeling relaxed after you release it right so I, I think like in this full moon and in this month because this is to you just a card for the entire month you know it's going to be important to enjoy that kind of completion and also kind of allowing yourself to kind of like relax afterward so again this is still asking you to kind of like moderate jumping to the very next thing and keep in mind that like for two weeks now you're allowed at the very least two weeks you're allowed to kind of like just go down and slow down and kind of review and then it's going to be time to build up again it looks like for you the entire month would be the month of letting go maybe you know uh, it will be time to rebuild if you feel that certain things were not accomplished properly for the others it's going to be time to regroup but in any case full moon is a time also when we kind of let go of things so if you have any bad habit if you have anything that you really are not happy with in your life write it down go out in the moonlight burn it it's gone be dedicated it's gone so look at it. it's like all the wonderful ritual you can create and have the stillness and what's going to happen then you know you can purify yourself because you know what happens with rain nobody likes to be caught in the rain but nobody can deny when you have a special summer shower that or any rain kind of like really cleanses and kind of like it feels really really great and smells fresh after a good rain it also rain brings clean water and that's basically um uh, needed sustenance for plants and animals and humans right so at the most intense when we have rainstorms that's almost like an avalanche of water and sometimes with winds and that kind of brings flooding and destruction and sometimes like it also brings unfortunate consequences so again this is kind of obviously very connected with your moon here and this is asking you because it's called also purification to purify your mind body and spirit and to get yourself ready for the next stage right so you have to figure out if there is anything that is stopping you from showing up 100 percent of the time you have to detect what it is clean it discover why you're feeling this way and kind of go deep inside if there is grief that is currently holding you back you know feel it I really do not agree ever with oh you know what just play something positive just kind of like do it this is like you know burying something that is like rotting you kind of like have to let go of things properly and the best is to face it and when you face your fears it's over you won so if it means crying guys and having your own rain so be it this is going to bring purification and also if this means just detoxifying your body right which is like a, the temple of uh, of and uh, of the soul right and maybe by changing your diet doing a cleanse for a few days or simply just drinking more water which is like what I'm currently doing I just giving myself three bottles every morning so three liters I don't know what is like this in a gallon I would say a little bit less than a gallon I just am trying to purify myself and I'm also eating like a vegan diet for the last month and it's really helping me so now like when we kind of go down to like those you know aboriginal or ingenious languages water is actually called life blood and guess what is like the blood of this planet of course the water now I kind of like really like the final kind of like uh, here like you have love and kind of compassion and like you have this like beautiful um, you have this beautiful heart over here and check this out there are like two hands reaching to another right so you know 
We always wonder, should I choose the brain or should I choose my heart? And I think that I read a statistic somewhere that the electrical signals from the heart are up to 60 times stronger than the brains. And the magnetic field is also, I think, 5,000 times more powerful. That will be like the anti, uh, what is like the other, um, I'm taking these antioxidants that are like about 5,000 more powerful than vitamin C. Uh, astaxanthin. It takes me a while today really to think through. I took a day off and it looks like my brain is not working after a day off. So work is good. So guys, all wounds that we always experience stem from delusions and that delusion is that we are separated that delusion is oh i'm not with this person hence i am wounded one no you just haven't been full in the first place because this person is supposed to be addition right addition on you not to take a chunk away from you so it is always time to grieve let go purify yourself and rebuild yourself if there is a hole in you that you kind of like fell in, this is really a great time to kind of like nurture. Because the, the route to healing this wound is through cultivating love and compassion for every beings on this planet. Start with yourself, you know? So this compassion requires, I guess, not only feeling warmth, uh, but also like really acts of kindness. Even this simply means being a, a fully attentive listener. You sometimes would would really be surprised how much a little touch can really help somebody else's heart and maybe even change their life. And this is why I'm going through lots of hours of posting these YouTube videos because even if I only help only one person, I have accomplished my mission on this planet. And I don't I don't spare my time for that, right? So also this is a call for you guys to respect yourself and kind of like you have to figure out what energies you have inside. If you still have righteousness, fear, anger, and judgment, which kind of like are common ways to kind of block our natural desire for love and block love, this is like this basically healing light that has to happen. And as long as you have any of that, you cannot get through and you cannot go to the next stage. Forgiveness is the key. And that's how you kind of let go of judgment. And this is also how you see through the illusion that we might be kind of separated from the others. Because there are some people that really cannot move further because they feel people wronged you and they're building bigger and bigger and bigger walls, thinking they're protecting themselves. The truth is you're only harming yourself. And lastly, I really don't kind of like know how to position this because this one jumped last and I was really even thinking to arrange the cards in some kind of like way to make more sense but then I decided no I have to be authentic I have to give you like really what got there because many times in the history people would go out in the wilderness to survive for two three days just simply to get those kind of spiritual lessons we do not do that we are not able to receive that anymore because we are too disconnected we are too busy communicating about what we ate for lunch and how great a dress is that we bought without realizing or even thinking that people on this planet are starving and we kind of like sometimes just lose sight of what is important so this is more or less asking you to kind of like connect but connect not with your electronics and connect with the true soul and vision quest is truly a process where you know you need to kind of figure out where is your own space and it's kind of amazing that you actually have two cards three cards almost like asking the same thing repeat 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 so guys fine-tune yourself looks like you are going to the next level looks like you have to kind of close the door and move to the next because like here this is a great time for meditation so many people who kind of like finish this vision quest I mean for this I do it sometimes and it's just like when I get burned out I disconnect everything and other than my cats nobody is allowed to come close to me for a day and sometimes for two and this is basically what I have been doing for the last two days 
with the exception that I went to visit my dad, but other than that, this is like where I was. And then all of a sudden, like, you go, oh my gosh, how did I not get this before? The meditation is amazing. It's just like, you almost like feel like being on vacation. So if you cannot do the whole weekend, take take at least one evening and dedicate that evening to yourself. No electronics, no television, no bombardment on the outside because all of this, all of this is asking you to kind of like go inside and kind of like look for the answers. So this is like from, uh, what is that called? It's called uh, Earth Magic Oracle Cards, which I love because we are so disconnected from what is basically uh, happening inside. We are like so trained to go out, out, out and compete with everybody, which kind of brings me to, to this. I, I kind of like pss, having things flying all over the place with the fan working. So this is bringing me to these three Oracle cards, which just make so much sense, right? So the very first one, if you really look at it, I just actually really love this deck. I mean, um, it is like so soulful. It's like one can learn so much from it. So what do we have here? We have like the, um, the vision. I don't know if you see it, it's sort of like, who are we? You know what the projections are? When you meet a person and you really hope this person is that, because we all have a blueprint of who is the person we want to date. That blueprint is something we carry from our last life. That blueprint is something that we coded in ourselves this time. This is something that we carry from the childhood, where there is like a certain way that or certain look, or certain smell, or certain sound, or certain feeling that we are trying to get. And then we project it on a person. We project that this is what we really, really want, right? So what is happening here? Look at this, this man and a woman, right? They're facing each other, but do they see each other clearly? Nope. Each of them have their own vision of who this other person really is, and obviously, that vision is not the true one, right? It is like something they constructed in their own minds and all of us can sometimes get caught up in maybe projecting movies, like I mean, of our own making on the situation and people surrounding us. So this is why we have courts because you have two people having a completely two different sides of the same issue, right? And it's not necessarily that, uh, there is like really we have to all realize there is no black and white that we are always somewhere in the gray zone and that sometimes like we are just reactive and we push the other person who maybe wronged us first but by us striking back we are creating our own issues and sometimes things go back and forth right so these projections what is really key over here they can be kind of devilish or divine they can be disturbing or they can be comforting but it is a projection, no matter what it is, it is a projection. So this is a thing going back to the judgment and, and to love and to forgiveness, right? So you have to recognize this game in order to be able to address this. And then you can turn it around. So whenever you feel judging another person, ask yourself, does what you see in others really belong to you? So is your vision clear or this is like something you really, really want to see? It's certainly something that also you can kind of encompass with all these kind of things over here. So then we have the turning in, which kind of like generally, uh, but look at this, this again, we have people and everybody wanting something or giving us something. And look at this, like I mean, sea of emotion. And what I really like in this card is like how content she is. This is like that my favorite Mona Lisa smile. So, you know, this most likely are sort of like the antics, antics of her mind. This is who you guys are, busy. This is who we are, all the time busy, all the time some kind of messages. Somebody, everybody wants to sell us something. Our partners always wants to get something from us. So they are like sort of like a ripples that we kind of like continuously ripples on like coming on a lake or on a pond, right? So to develop 
kind of like an idea of who we really are, sometimes it's really good to go inside. And, you know, we have to sometimes take a distance from the mind and kind of like learn in meditation what are the messages. Because look, there is a tear over here that connects us from all these kind of influences, right? So you guys are ready to take this distance now. And I highly advise to indulge yourself in kind of like simple kind of freedom of kind of like going deep inside and letting this flow through you, right? Because this is kind of like something that is a journey for you and not the outward journey. Because whenever we talk about journeys, it's always like, oh, where are you going? Where are you traveling? No, this is a inward journey. So how do you do that? And can you do it? Imagine that you actually learn who you are. Isn't this like way more valuable than seeing any place on this planet? And lastly, one of my favorite cards in this deck is the, de the card of comparison. So do we see? We see a beautiful oak tree, oak tree and s we see a bamboo tree. So which one is more beautiful? Some, sometimes people tell you, oh, bamboo is so much more beautiful, but then oak is so much more expensive. So which one is actually really more than valuable? right so do you think that here oak is sitting and thinking oh i wish i have the whole center right or do you think that you know bamboo is like jealous because the oak is shedding leaves like every every fall right so let's face it it's always going to be somebody who has something different or maybe something better than us somebody who is more beautiful or more talented stronger more intelligent and maybe even happier than we are it's always going to be somebody who maybe is going to take away our boyfriend there is like all these kind of things that are happening on the outside but what is the basically point over here we just have to figure out who we are and walk on our own path right looking around yourself you can go and fix yourself but you are ultimately who you are and everybody is like continuously and completely unique. Nobody is lower, nobody is superior, nobody is inferior, and absolutely nobody is higher. So now, understanding that if you remove that judgment, if you cannot develop this compassion, if you develop this love, then you simply kind of like release all the inferiority and all superiority from yourself. By doing that, you guys are becoming a much better human being. So my dear Gemini, I think if you listen through this, then you are the one who is going to push yourself higher up in this period of time. Because then you are really, really meant to be. Because this was a long spiel, but I had to do it because, oh my gosh, you guys are either going to swim or sink. And if you are the ones who are swimming, this entire world is going to be a better place. This has been shuffled, so let's jump in. So what is on the bottom of one deck? Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now guys, this is like how high you can fly. This is going to be maybe a situation that is going on and, you know, that can kind of like give validity and give advice. So ultimately, this is saying that no matter what tarot or Lenormand or Oracle's cards say to you, you have this potential. Literally, you guys have to be on your own. You don't even have to look out. Everything that is asked of you this month is free. Find the time for yourself to make yourself a better being. Ooh, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and that's a wonderful thing to kind of like friends i love friends of course i'm aquarius but why do i like friendship as as a communication as a relationship form you see i have only um, a few really good friends they say you only have a couple in your lifetime i don't count all these people that i have on linkedin like four thousand contacts great but they're not my friends now, friends, being a friend with someone is the only relationship on this planet where somebody is sticking next to you, telling you exactly what they think, 
they don't lie to you. This is why I'm trying to be your friend and hopefully you are my friends back. I, I see no point of choosing the cards for you and sugarcoating things because if something, if storm is arriving, I prefer that somebody's telling me to take my laundry in than just saying, no, everything will be fine. And then I have to redo things all over again. So this is the only relationship you're going to find somebody who is there really because they're really like you, who you truly and uniquely are. So what do you have? <laughs> well, again, you guys, the messages are unbelievable. Free yourself. Release your ex. That's again, your full moon kind of thing. Uh, ritual let go of control issues yeah you guys are catapulting yourself in a completely ne next level past life relationship this could mean that some karmic issues have been dealt with recently Stoi stay optimistic about your love life <sighs> forgiving and learning oh my gosh I, I'm honestly I'm feeling goosebumps with like there are three different decks so just think of mathematical improbability that you are getting the same messages everywhere. And you have chemistry, you have this could be the one, you deserve love. Whoa, you guys, you have somebody new on the horizon. If you didn't have anybody yet in the cards, you will. And I'm wondering if it's going to happen to your friends. Keep in mind, Wheel of Fortune Reversed is one of my four karma cards that I designated as my karma cards. I know that some people wrote to me, this is not a karma card. You know what? I'm doing this for a long time. And this is like what I discovered in my readings. So what other people do, it's really kind of their method. So when this kind of comes reversed, this tells me that you have to balance yourself. And that things may happen to you and that you might get reactive. Again, you have lots of cards. Just like let it click in. I have to center. I have to let go of this. And just acknowledge that sometimes things are going up, sometimes things are going down. So let's see what happened here. Wow. I don't know how come that, like, I mean, absolutely every sign. Oh my gosh, you already have, like, two repeats. You see, this is this card here, and you see, oh no, this is five, I thought this like we had a two repeat. So let's see what kind of additional messages. So this turning in is like now even fortified because it is basically telling me that in your environment, maybe these friends, so maybe you have to think about that as well. Um, these friends have to be the real friends, not the friends of convenience. They're called acquaintances, they're called business associates, they're called, you know, we are just sharing an interest together. These are not friends. Friends are people who basically see you naked, not physically naked, but naked as a person, where do know, they know all your words and they're still choosing to be with you. So let's see what happened. In the past, there was like something past life relationship which doesn't have to be, you know, um, it's something that you recognized, something that it clicked. It was like one of those things that triggered certain things in you. Remember when I was telling you about this blueprint? So you kind of like felt maybe a loss of control in the situation. Maybe you kind of like felt weak in your knees. Like it, you were kind of enchanted with somebody new, but things maybe didn't work out. When I see the judgment reversed, um, it it talks to me again. This is like judgment is definitely again past life, right? This is your second karma card, right? So what else do I uh, like? So we have wheel of fortune, we have judgment, we have justice, and I have the ace of swords. These are like my four karma cards. So this one was reversed, meaning again something from the past came to the surface and it maybe was something that you haven't dealt with properly in the past uh, and not necessarily because you were mean maybe just because you had the best of intentions maybe somebody just like wanted to be admired and somebody just like really was wooing you but this somebody who was wooing you maybe was just there in your life for you to kind of like take the left turn in your kind of karmic path in any case, I feel there were kind of like things that happened 
that that somehow they were not processed properly. Like usually this is to me the rule of threes that I call when three things happen at the same time. And this is like call, oh my gosh, you know, I have to stop, I have to become still, I have to see what's going on. Because I see this vertical trajectory over here, there are swords, 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 and weakness. So something is like really pervading right now in your core that is like feeling still that you're struggling with something from the past. It could be that something was so sweet and so nice and that you really want to go back to a situation, but that kind of didn't exist. Maybe it was kind of like passing fancy, right? Ten of swords reversed says the worst is over and let go. And then you have a let go here as well. Four of uh, this is the walls, like maybe you kind of to protect yourself from some kind of pain, maybe from some kind of betrayal, like you build your walls, remember? Like if you build those walls, great, yeah, you're protecting yourself. But you know what, this is not to say that there are no basically dangers within those walls, because sometimes we can be our own worst enemy, and we really have to kind of debate this. You guys are going to actually do well. I think you're going to cut through the truth because swords are really facing our own things as well. Maybe you're not going to go about it the greatest way, but you know, I really don't care. I think it is good to kind of like clean, clean the stuff. Now, free yourself from a situation. There was a situation maybe with extra two people involved. You see this like two kitties. This is the five of swords reversed. When, when this card comes reversed, it's always telling me about something that either somebody, the situation was where nobody could win. It was positioned that it was lose, lose, lose situation. Maybe one person thinks that they, they got an upper hand, but they haven't. This is a situation where maybe you feel inferior. Maybe you felt inferior compared to somebody else. I think it was the third person because I see uh, in this card three and in this card here three. And this kind of indicates maybe uh, either you feel that you have been inadequate or, or the partner felt inadequate. And sometimes people feel this way and they react in a really weird way. So instead of like really being giving, and encompassing, they kind of push you away because in the first place, they don't believe they, they deserve you. So, Queen of Wands, let me see. If you're becoming this go, go, go person, or there is some, whoa, there's third karma card. Oh, my gosh. So this is out of balance, just like here. You guys, drop your gadgets right now. So we'll see what is like Queen of Wands here. It could be that you are getting a little bit more sociable, but uh, it could be that you will be actually attracting a person who is very bubbly, kind of like very energetic, really fun to date, but at the same time, it's going to kind of take you out of balance. You still need to work on yourself, right? It's kind of like hard to have a fresh water in a cup that is like full of leftovers from you know wine or something that you had uh, last night so look at this the strength reversed this is actually my path and that and the star this is kind of like learning how to have humility because whenever we see the strength card like why do we always think we are this person who is the stronger why don't we think we are the one that is weaker because the speaker person is ne never losing this game. It's basically being handled properly. And don't we always like that somebody basically treats us really well, even if we do something wrong, that people are gentle to us? No, that was not your case. It sounds to me you haven't been treated properly. It sounds to me somebody didn't want to commit to you. It sounds to me it was harsh and it is time to let go of that person. They don't deserve you. So there you go, the three, again, three of cups, or three of chalices, can mean many things. It can mean happiness, but since this is combined with the strength reversed, I think it was the third party, somebody had a really good time, and it was not a good time for you. So, yeah, you are just the emperor reversed, 
it's telling me that maybe there was a person who created that instability because I see instability, 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 right? And maybe uh, pushed you to be a little bit out of control. Maybe they created imbalance in your life where, you know, you're trying to work on it because the emperor definitely talks about solidity. When I see the emperor upright, I always ask, uh, when I see it for me, it's like a message. What kind of person do you want to become? Like, because to have this tarot channel, I just don't want to blur it out for you. I just this and this and this. Because, you know, I do know that the free will tops everything. And ultimately, you guys are responsible. But I find myself really responsible to what I say and what kind of person I want to be. This is why I don't swear. And, I mean, I do say shit for it. So, I okay, I sort of swear a little bit. But I, I really think, you know, cleaning yourself is, is basically leadership. It's kind of like showing others, like, this is the path. And so I feel responsible when I do this. And that's why I don't do it in a sloppy way. But it looks like somebody, and sometimes people come to our life that, that kind of, like, push those buttons in us that they kind of take the worst out of us, even to a point that we cannot recognize ourselves. And I kind of have a feeling this may have happened to you guys. I mean, of course, in your comments, you're going to set me straight on this one. But this is just how I see it. So... There is this healing taking place. I see it from here. And it's partially that you're still holding on to maybe anger. Anger is good, guys. If you get to the anger stage, you're almost done. It's a really good news. Like, I mean, go in a car, drive and shout. <laughs> Call the way you want. Top of your lungs. Get it out of your system. Uh, go to this kind of like uh, purification, completion. You guys basically do have methods to do it. Hey, wow. Sorry about it, guys. I have to have the phone on, so my apologies in advance. Because I never know if the hospital is going to call me. So, okay. So, I said wow. And the reason wow is like, look, you are really, really moving on. This is something really... Whoa, this is you. Now, this is not interesting. Why is the lovers reversed? Maybe you're not ready yet. You see, when lovers is reversed, you know, like there is a basic message intermediate advanced and high level message right so fool is generally okay you are on some level ready to start fresh you're on some level ready to shed off negativity but then when it gets like this card clarified like you're still not understanding that this is like not you and them that literally you don't connect on the outside it, we connect on the inside right so when we when we feel like whole everything else is whole right that's why you know this is probably asking you to kind of let go but at the same time what's the point of staying optimistic about your love life if if you have these walls around you right that you're building if if you're kind of shredding this person so i think this is what is saying that there are like certain kind of like edges that you need to smooth kind of like over right now you are going to charge ahead it's just like amazing how many major arcanas you have right because look at this forgiving and learning again you're releasing and healing the past and it's happening in a really it's going to just happen you guys if you listen to me if you kind of go inside you do your meditations you do your disconnecting if you're compassionate if you kind of have prayers uh, meditations whatever kind of like is your thing but help this old lady cross the street go and help this child you know just to, instead of judgment whenever you catch yourself being judgmented judgmental just turn it around do the opposite and you'll be actually really surprised how much you benefit like out of this as well so for example i always give money to these people who back on the street i do know they will sell spell it spend it for whatever i just don't care if this means to them something that they have this can of beer so be it because they're happy and you know it's just like i'm not their king i am not the one to tell them how to live their life and of course maybe they don't know better but i know that this moment at the very least, maybe the food is going to end up in their tummy, right? So, look at this. The chariot going forward. And again, Knight of Wands moving forward. So, this is probably connecting with that Queen of Wands that I was a little bit puzzled with. But there is a Queen of Swords reversed. So, maybe this whole phase is going to end. The Queen of Swords, when it comes reversed, it's kind of strange, right? It's... 
how to say it. So I don't know if this is you. It can mean a breakup to me on a very basic level. It can mean some phase is ending, but it also can mean that sometimes you blur things out, right? Sometimes we are just too fast in dealing with things. Sometimes we just think we know everything without, because like there are two truths. One is like the um, factual truth. Another one is the emotional truth. Sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't overlap, right? Because people can feel wronged even if all they are the ones who actually did everything wrong, right? So this, I think you're going to be cutting through some of those and just kind of shutting it, shredding it out. But if this means you getting rid of that old habits, if this means you getting rid of your own walls, so be it. If you need to kind of get it out of your system, oh well. It's just going to be sucked to be around you, Gemini. Demonstry and Ace of Cups. Huge potential, guys, on the horizon. So are you going to take it? Are you ready to drink it? How can you drink it if you have your walls up? How will you drink this if you have resentments? How will you drink it if you don't really don't believe that there is a possibility of you really fusing with somebody else? Not with somebody else to kind of plug the holes in you, but with somebody else because this is kind of meant to be. But this is your promise this month. <laughs> it's going to be the tower. Somebody is going to come to your life who will probably take you by surprise. And it's going to understand you how life make you understand how life can be fun and it doesn't have to be difficult and maybe it's going to show you a different way this also can mean that literally you're going to just figure out what doesn't work anymore and you know what they say love makes you a better person talking about this compassion this is probably what it is this is also that kind of purification over here that we are talking about now this is kind of like your environment category and it says you maybe met somebody but you were not sure about this person if you haven't met somebody be cautious about you know uh, just picking somebody for the wrong reasons this card in um, thought deck is called um, luxury meaning that you actually have so much that that you can actually reject so it's like huh do you want this hyundai no, are you kidding me? Do you want this Ford? No. Well, would you like this Acura? Gosh, no. Do you like this Audi? No, I'm waiting for a Mercedes. Kind of a thing, right? Is kind of the feeling behind this. So this is asking you to really think, like, what is that you really need? Are you doing this for showing off? Or are you doing this because you really kind of should kind of like look that way? See, there is a little bit of a burnout and it's kind of like again when i see this uh, the sun reverse it tells me like just stop a little bit it's just like maybe you're kind of going and charging ahead too much but this is like now time for the crossroads you're having seven of the pentacles so you guys are going to have a romance month there is like knave of chalices the knave of chalices is like that you know, a romantic whiff that you feel in the air when you start to feel, oh my gosh, this is so meant to be, when you hear these wedding bells, but don't rush it, right, guys? See, Six of Pentacles is going to feel right even on a ground level. It's going to feel like, oh my gosh, I did something for this person, and check it out, this person did something back for me. So, here we have it. It came in this category. So, this new person make sure that this new person is truly that you see them the way they are not the way you want to see them right it says you deserve love and not the projected love so here we have that kind of thing well actually this was a five i, th I didn't think it was a seven so it was five of clouds so here we had that card as well so you see we had a repetition on all of them so you can see how you know Oracle cards are so strong. So now, make the effort. You see, the relationship has to be grown. So when I see eight of wands, which is what I was just drilling, you just like drop off, drop off, drop off, right? All this kind of like messaging. But this actually does talk about messaging and it says it could be delayed, it could be stagnant communication. You see, 
you kind of it looks like maybe you're going to meet somebody but this time you're going to be choosy and you're not going to just to settle just because somebody's maybe offering themselves to you or just because you like someone it looks like this time you're going to make the effort to be with the right person for you and if this means taking it slow it just means kind of going deep so be it king of swords and now you have the queen of swords i think by the end of the month for those of you who have been in a relationship that kind of didn't work and it could be that some of you even have a child with this person it's going to be over but it's going to be over because you will want it that way i think you're coming to conclusion that you are really important to yourself so guys i am uh, going to right now get the um Leatherment cards. We're going to see a little bit more, maybe a few different storylines. And I'm going to put the cards on the table. And when I'm done, I'm going to click back in so you don't have to kind of like sit here with me and wait for it. All right. So let's see the Leatherman cards. Guys, for those of you who are not familiar with Leatherman, it's a different divination system. These guys here look like tarot uh, because they're kind of like inspired with tarot kind of images, but they are not read as tarot. At 32 cards, this is called Grand Tableau. You put all these kind of cards on the table and I'm actually literally seeing your blueprint of your life right now. So what do we have? We have two significators, the lady and the gentleman. Either of them can be you and the other one can be a partner and etc right so i'm going to give you really quickly what i see some of you yeah you have a karmic period over here you'll be cutting off certain things that's not working if the doors you couldn't open if there are things that you couldn't really conquer anymore you're going to let go of that you're going to kind of question your loyalties to certain things and to even certain places some of you have been already working on something for a while and maybe it kind of like didn't feel like it's going to take off maybe it felt like it's coming forever but it's going to start to work it's going to start kind of like to create a new completely system for you something that's going to really be valuable for you many years to come something that can even create a really good reputation but you will really have to rebrand yourself you will have to figure out a better way of communicating because even if you attempt the smallest level of sneakiness or smart, you know, Alec attitude, it's, it's going to be heavily punished. So this is what happens when you are given spiritually high level and looks like you guys are being given this, this month, the doors are opening for you. And even here you have the key. So when you're given that, you're also given the responsibilities. Just like if you are CEO of the company, you're given the title, but it's not just a title to use it for show off. You really have to work at it because it tells me that you can do literally things. You see, there are also that's a person from the past that is kind of like things ended, the commitment and kind of took you off your road to, to something else. And because of that, you'll be starting something new that is going to be really beneficial for you. So for the others, guys, you know, there is like even better trajectory. And here's like the money and here's the love and here are the promotions. <laughs> Health is here, but it looks like for those of you who maybe plan to go on vacation in a short while or who maybe uh, are kind of like wondering about, you know, um, certain people especially if you have a long distance relationship things are going to run into issues and they might even see a trajectory of ending and for the others it might just kind of like continue to be self-establishment until you kind of like get to a certain level and it's going to be around november or during the winter where you might actually um i don't know either kind of re recover from some kind of health issues and work on it better or recommunicate with somebody from the past who maybe has been meaningful to you and reconvene the relationship that probably died uh, and so these are possibilities so so you know 
that you know certain things have to be reconfigured for things to work together again that's why you had a tower it, just like you have to come uh, and start with new foundations and this is this is for you guys you have to figure it out i also here see like i mean you have the whip and the mice you literally have to clean your house you have to see what is important you have to question yourself in every level in love and in in work what is kind of like bringing you happiness okay guys next i'm going to come back when i put all 52 uh gypsy oracle cards on table also grant a blah and that you also don't you cannot see it anywhere on the internet so see you in a second all right guys the grand tableau so gypsy spread is really for all these intrigues and all the emotions and who stabs who it's kind of like really you're down to earth kind of a thing right because really terror shouldn't be used for that and it should never kind of like it, terror is never kind of basic it's like you know you're getting into like this fancy french restaurant where you know like they kind of create this like beautiful food and it's almost like an artwork that you really see and somebody just comes with the fingers in it and kind of like tear it apart so yeah you're not supposed to use tarot for it because it's going to kind of punish you right but we can use gypsy oracle cards for that and we're not going to get punished because this is really nitty-gritty what we're looking here so we have few cards that are significators pardon me so we have the sweetheart and again whatever you can kind of identify yourself with is you whether it's like a I mean male or female and even though we have the wife with the kids which could be you you could be married you can just have the children so this is general reading so that way we cannot really pinpoint and i'm also kind of having a mix of um upside and, and reverse cards so i'm kind of like more or less looking at them um just for my information this way it is impossible to read them for general reading like this way and i usually use these cards for my fly on the wall readings and kind of like give these people situation especially when it's pertinent to your kind of love affairs so these are the two glass cards of the child reversed and the merchant so you had a child in Lenormand and child generally represents something from the past coming right just like a child it's a nine months of pregnancy and finally something finally is reaching that kind of like sunlight but something that maybe has been brewing for a while in your life it will need to be redefined and I kind of like feel this could be you guys right so here we have um, sweetheart this could be you it could be a single woman it could uh, basically be just you know a new start here is the wife the wife of course can be a woman who is in a relationship it could be person with children right then we have a lord here a lord generally signifies a professional or a married guy or a guy who is taken and then we have a lover that signifies the guy that is free and maybe willing to kind of like go ahead we have a young woman so that's for you younger ladies this can also signify somebody's child but then we also have the other cards that can be seen as significators like i use this foe and i use this is kind of like female enemy or a rival but this can also mean us as well that sometimes we hurt ourselves and then we also have a male version which is called enemy i just have to there it is right so look there actually it could be even a group of people for some of you it could be for some of you it could be a group of people that actually might not have your best interest in mind so given that there are so many significators i'm just going to give you a few storylines and you guys go from there so some of you I see here will go inside so you're kind of thorn between joy joyfulness and here you have kind of spending time with friends and and it kind of like regrets because look at this here's the sites card over here and here is this like merchant card like I don't know if you see that they are almost like a mirror image right almost as if you see if you put this little boat in the background it kind of like would be almost the same scene if you kind of get what I'm trying to explain to you so then all of a sudden her loneliness would be redefined with this gentleman kind of being around and kind of like questioning so you would wonder 
what is going on between these two people, right? So I believe here actually they are connected because kind of like the, the bottom two cards are always put here in the middle and kind of like it's right next to each other. So sites and merchant means certain things that kind of cost you anguish, pain or resentment. And I think it relates to possibly that cheating or somebody maybe not committing to you. Uh, you're feeling somebody's really false, you're feeling somebody's like keeping secrets or somebody's like really making you jealous, you know what, you're not going to have it. You kind of are going to have enough. You're going to really declare this person an enemy. You're going to say, I, I am not going in this kind of arrangements. Because even though sometimes, like, I mean, people like that can be interesting because it's a kind of a game, I think you're over it. You don't have time for falseness anymore. And some of you might actually go into counseling because some of you might have still issues putting things to the rest. Others of you, um, are feeling really guarded at this like the control issue that we saw there and trying to kind of like go uh, and and kind of like figure out your new concept in life even though some of you are transitioning from being in a relationship to being single and you find both sides of that kind of like coin like parts of that is really fun but another part it's like you feel stuck so kind of like you know you win some you kind of lose some kind of a thing for the other of you, especially for the gentleman, I think, you know, uh, you might meet somebody else who is going to look like God-given gift initially. So be really cautious. I mean, and this can be you ladies as well. Be very cautious not to be dazzled with this person because this person for some reason is kind of damaged quite a bit this person is going to challenge you on so many levels it's going to be a fair full of fun but also full of intrigues full of lies full of other people being involved and you are going to have issues with this person's jealousy and with this person's faithfulness so for the others of you that wheel of fortune which we had on the bottom of the deck i see it here it, certain things can come along as a bad surprise it can kind of render you hopeless so i think remember how we were saying like i mean there are going to be few levels of you some of you are going to reach the higher level if you guys just like skip through my introduction with these oracle cards and you do want to reach a higher level i do advise watching it because for, for some layers, Gemini, I totally see layers. I totally see three or four layers over here. Some of you are just going to go on a basic level. Oh my gosh, he wronged me and how dare he and so and so on. The others are going to go, oh, wait a minute. I am kind of positioning myself. You guys didn't have codependency card. Congratulations. So you already broke some kind of karmic kind of like chains. But there are still few of them that you need to shed so the second level is shedding some chains and this means look yes i do really want to be in a relationship yes i do like this guy but i'm not selling my soul for it or the, the price is too high to pay then you have the third level that is going to start looking for kind of like becoming a much better person and going into this meditation going into this counseling uh, trying to kind of even put the finances together properly and trying to kind of like establish kind of better systems in their life and then the highest level for the people who did listen through this first part i see it here as well you're literally going to become a better person because check it out you have misfortune and fortune right next to each other they are gnawing each other when this happens and kind of like coming to scholar and to foe so are you going to be your like worst enemy over here are you going to let pride to get a better of you and render you like so are you going to fall from that point when you're like reconfiguring yourself back down or you're going to go up right so you have these both possibilities over here now what is really interesting over here is like that you just kind of like again you have a death and a priest so and yet you have reunion so maybe it's going to be still kind of attempt to kind of reunite but it's going to end up on the same thing because guys repeating the same things over and over if it's not fixed if it's not going through counseling it's literally just make things worse and 
and like it just this is the tower moment that you had here certain things have to be fixed and they have to be done properly so let's go back to this completion guys there is a completion here as well you have a prison and you have a widower maybe some of you are refusing certain things to die but you are aware that you know there is kind of falseness in that comparison look at this you have the wife and the sweetheart next to each other like maybe some of you have been betrayed for a person to go with a younger woman and you're really sad about it but at the same time you're somehow happy <laughs> you're saying okay you know what now you have to watch his kind of stuff now you have to deal with this like good luck to you but be very careful not to go into this comparison and not to feel desperate about this or what does she have that i don't have and that kind of stuff for other on you, others of you, it's going to be that projections. Remember that I was telling? It's going to be, oh my gosh, I'm so enchanted with this new person. She's like so wonderful without realizing, oh my God, it's going to be a pretty interesting surprise. And this is asking you guys to turn in. Like I see a doctor over here. I see here kind of like looking into kind of these things. I've seen the scholar here as well. These are all cards saying kind of turn inside because this is where basically you are supposed to be. And to seal this reading, I actually did draw the card. Uh, like this is the very first card that I drew before all of this just to see the first flavor about it. And remember I told you kind of like we all have the path in life my path is like the star and the strength so this is kind of really interesting part of yeah the star and the strength it's kind of really interesting what i got here for you i got the master number and i got strength so join me so i'm going to read it to you and i think i'm going to do a really brief introduction i'm debating if i should do it and i kind of like to your video but uh or completely separate video i think i'm going to do both it's going to be just a little projectory of what's going to happen for the famous gemini mr donald trump or president donald trump better to say and just to see if we are going to survive this lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse so the strength guys your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone but from a sincere faith in a higher power the strength to accomplish even the most daunting tasks is your at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card can indicate that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off the course of evolution. As the potency of your connections becomes more obvious, you are able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on a higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything now. Remember guys strength, remember that little kind of cat trying to tame the doggy that we had in a Terra. It just like came up again. So if you guys want to stay around, it's going to be really brief. I just already did pull the cards for uh, President Trump. I want to show you. For those of you who already had enough of me of such a long reading, I want to thank you one more time for actually being here and sticking with me this long. So please subscribe, like, and share. That means a lot to me. And join Facebook and kind of like let's go from there. So let's see what we got in the cards for Mr. Trump. And I'm doing a few different things here. These are the cards that came out. Because I kind of tried, like, I mean, just like with you, I go through different oracle cards. And I kind of, like, want to see what they tell me. And see if there are any kind of, like, discrepancies. And what can we learn? So I have here Psychic Tarot. I have Earth Magic cards. I have um, Archer Zen cards. Hi, Matrix. How are you? Hello, Matrix. Look at this, my dark thunder. My dark thunder. I, do you like Gemini's? Huh? Can we go? Like, it's too many cats on the table. Come here. Come here. Yes, come here. When the cards will just jump. Come here. Come. Come. 
Matrix, not the good time. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see the darkness? Okay, the sky is like, you know, you cannot say this is coincidence. All of a sudden, your really gri great and light reading is turning into dark. Come on, Mr. Darth Vader. Come here. Come. Jump. Thank you. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, lie down. Lie down. I know you have to. Yeah, I know it's a protective time, but please. That's okay. You can lie down. You can lie down, pussy kids here. I don't know what's going on here. So, we have joy and insecurity here. Here we have the outsider, moment to moment, and silence. Here we have fog and new moon. Remember you guys had full moon? So it's going to be two weeks from the 7th. And guess what is in two weeks? Yep, it's a solar eclipse. And solar eclipse is not a good news for Mr. Trump, for, for President Trump. And check my other video. And that's just because of his astrological configuration. And then we have, <laughs> wow, power. And that's the strength card, by the way. See, that's going from the lion to a wise man. So which way, which way do you want to go? You want to be strong, but very animalistic, very much right now. Or do you really want to have some kind of strategy that you want to kind of know how things really work? And then, trapped in fear. Oh, look, this is another eight. And then we have movement, movement, choices, and decisions. And then we have joy insecurity which i said the outsider movement to movement and silence and here is basically uh, the last part i'm going to do separately because that's a law of attraction so let's see where do we start here okay so it is really crucial because this month can actually change the history guys and it doesn't have to happen in this moment. Like what we are going to experience this month is going to have ripples in the future. And most likely we are all experiencing and starting to feel like, you know, when the tsunami is coming, we start feeling the storm way before, before it strikes. So we have been already feeling it since December, I would say, but most the strongest thing, the strongest urge was like somewhere in February that really took place. So let's see what is going on in in uh, President Trump universe. So you see, he's trying to find where is the way out of that fog. And he's looking for the promise because check this out, these two cards are sort of connected. And again, we see this moon, right? This is this new moon. New moons, contrary to full moons, are actually just the new beginnings. Where do I want to go from here? You going and walking through fog, it's not really easy because it's way worse than in the moonlight. In the moonlight, certain things can kind of appear different. You don't have enough light to really know where you're going, but you're hoping that you're going in the right direction. You're hoping of this promise. You're hoping everything will work out. But can you get there with this kind of fog, thick fog? So I really think he kind of has to kind of focus. This is a kind of call for strategy and call for kind of like going step at a time and maybe kind of lift to the next level. So I'm going to see if like, for those of you who are just seeing this without um, actually seeing the entire Gemini readings, that kind of is shared uh, astrological sign. I'll also, also show you what Gemini's got for, for their own messages. So Gemini's are this month having ability to go on a completely new level. Gemini's are being called to, um, basically go deep inside clean their own internal house kind of like you see turning in kind of period not to compare not to uh you know 
live some kind of whatever skin deep world it's kind of like asking for something completely refreshing um, the rain the purification so now let's see what is happening with the outside and inside influences here so there is a lots of things that are kind of conflicting we see the joy is like nice to experience but can you experience this joy if you have those insecurities and we had those insecurities in the gypsy spread so trapped in fear is also insecurity where you really don't know how to go forward you see the eights and every kind of same number card is related and the reason is like you have a two and you have a two as well so the reason why you know the eights are related because they're all coming back to power they're all coming back to strength this is all one pathway so this is like that pathway of 44 that you guys had which is also another strength card that you got it's asking of you to understand that you're literally holding the world in your own hands are you going to be careful are you not going to be careful and would you trust this person to do this if this person is trapped in fear if this person feels like an outsider or is insecure sure enough it's all easy for us to be taken when you have this joy and singing and dancing and it's really nice to be a showman but it has to be some kind of essence it cannot be really let's move and wing it from moment to moment this is encouraging card however silence is basically equivalent of the star card this is like this is the same path the star and the power is like the same number eight so we have overwhelmingly number eight over here guys so this person mr trump is obviously very powerful i can see that he's both liked and disliked to some people he's a source of joy and hope maybe some people see him as a lion maybe some people see him as very basic and aggressive as a lion somebody could can rip your head off some people do see him as a promise some people do see him as fog and not really knowing where he's going so some people see him trapped in fear other people see him as somebody who's trying to go ahead can you see duality in everything that i'm seeing it is kind of amazing so the only card that is really standing out so it's plus and minus plus and minus plus and minus everywhere is only really this one because this one silence is the higher octane of the strength card so you have to first be strong you have to be resilient you have to develop a thick skin if you don't have a thick skin you're literally going to get damaged with fog without having a plan without having this true strength you really have to figure out what is important and that importance and that ability comes from silence can you kind of go into this deepness can you kind of go and develop compassion for everybody else can you not take people at face value can you really realize all this negative chatter that goes in your head and disconnect from the world and see what is important can you stop comparing it's going to be really the key in this period so let's check what we got here as well i think this was the last one yeah this was the last one now this this two this one was the first one so the second this was the last one yeah that was in the order that i got so now these love attraction cards are being kind of like interpreted differently but then uh, interestingly enough that i have a two here yet again so two of swords is generally a really interesting card because it talks about i i don't i don't know how to make a decision i can't make a decision so i'm just going to make one just whatever so making a decision is better so this is the power and aggression but this is a power and aggression without strategy ultimately this is the card of uh, the struggle and it's a struggle in obtaining friendships in obtaining aliases and not having ability to kind of form strategy and form groups to fight a common enemy this is talking about potential conflict at the moment when the dream should come true so we do know 
that this person has a Twitter as his own worst enemy. So I, I really think the best advice here would be to really kind of like reconfigure what do you really want to do uh, in terms of this? Do you really want to continue arguing with people or do you really want to kind of like raise yourself higher and be both the lion and this wise man because that's honestly the only solution when we have to marry these two different parts of us when we don't compare with others anymore when you kind of like go inside and first of all realize who we are and then we realize that we actually do have responsibility for the others as well and especially on that level i mean it is ridiculous i mean just personally i hear it's a little bit judgmental kind of thing I, you know, have business and I took one day off, one day off. Yeah, the last two days I was like in a vision quest, but it was working one day off in the last seven months. And I'm what? Just doing like a basic job. This person is the president of the United States. He's taking 17 days off. I don't remember in the last 20 years that I did that. I think I have responsibilities toward my loved ones, toward my company, the companies that I work for. So just, it's maybe good if he takes this time off that he's taking to kind of like do this work. So this card here again talks about happiness. So see, there is a strife and there is a happiness. And then we had the joy over here. So it's kind of interesting because usually five of cups just show sadness in the other decks, but not in this one. In this one just talks about dreams of being loved dreams of reconciliation kind of like good encounters and kind of like really love from your family so he is going to possibly have the outer strife with the professionals not having a strategy but he is going to be rewarded from the inside now the full card is in this deck confusion it talks about thinking without acting and just simply not being able to define what your dreams are. And hence, look at you here, here we have the kitty. Yeah, it is so much fun. But you know, look, we don't have, we have both sun and the moon here. There is like that duality over here, which we kind of like do see him in, in President Trump. Now, this is kind of like, Really, this is not a family business. This is not not a ma and pa pizza shop. It's great that you have support from your family, but you have to have support of your big family, which are the people of the United States, and ultimately the all the planet, because like the most powerful nation in the world has responsibility for its actions. So the rest of us shouldn't be really watching news daily just to make sure that we are going to survive another week. And this is like why I'm doing this reading, because I... I actually personally feel that this moment-to-moment -moment thing is really not good in world politics, but I'm really hoping for the silence, to kind of like not to hear this Twitter for a little bit, not to not to see somebody who is insulting people and continuously comparing people. That happens when people are not secure in themselves. I do want to see a leader who is not only eight by forty-four. So this is the master number who can actually really create a better life and heal. Now this worries me. This is basically the Hierophant, right? And it is coherence, but this is incoherence. I, I kind of like studied Latin a long time ago, but it says through a Lex, said Lex. I think Lex is the law. It is the, it's hard because it's the law or means something like that. I can Google it, but I kind of get it. Meaning like you have to do the right things. You just cannot kind of wiggle it around it. So somebody here is not doing the right things. So if if so, if he wants his dreams to become reality, he needs to verify that there are no contradictions between what he does and what he says, because the true the the words have to follow be followed with consistent actions. And I think this is pretty much probably the key of that reading for him. So let's see if this person is able to have his commitment to heal, maybe in this time off, to regain his strength, to kind of like feel compassion for the everybody else and try to do the right thing. So guys, 
this is it i hope you liked it and i hope you know you're going to give me your comments that is really meaningful this is a big job so i really want to see if this is helpful to you and lastly please uh, subscribe share like and visit me on my facebook i wish you all the best and i'm looking forward to your comments and to chatting with you and if you want a private reading please contact me via my website wish you all the best I love you, Geminis.